In the last section, we got our ball to successfully show up on the screen, but right now the ball is centered on the screen. For the animation that we're putting together, we really want the ball to start off at the very top left-hand corner. Right now the ball is only being centered because of some default styling that we got with our project when we first generated it. So all we have to do is delete that default styling, and the ball should show up on the top left-hand side by default whenever it first starts up. So let's default, uh, excuse me, let's delete that default styling really quick and make sure that the ball starts at the very top left-hand side. Inside of my main.js file, we're gonna scroll down to the styles object. And inside of the styles object, you'll notice that we have an align items and a justify content of center. So these are the two rules that are causing our component to, or our ball to show up at the very center of the screen. We'll delete the two rules, save the file, and now when we refresh the simulator, the ball appears at the very top left hand of the screen. Okay, so that's a good start. Now we get to think a lot more about the animation side of the ball itself. So let's flip back over to the ball.js file. Remember that for every animation that we ever put together, we're going to try to answer three different questions. We're gonna answer where's the item on the screen, where's the element moving to, and which element are we attempting to move? To answer these three questions, we're going to use a couple of different objects. So animated value XY and animated spring and a component to answer each one of these questions. For this first example that we're going to walk through of animating this ball, we're going to just throw all the code on the screen. So we're gonna just type it all out. We're not gonna to talk too much about any of it. We're gonna watch the animation play in the simulator and then we'll come back to the code and explain exactly how it's all working. I found that understanding animations is much easier when you get to look at the code on the screen ahead of time. So we're gonna do all the typing now and then we'll come back and talk about what's going on. So let's get through a little bit of the typing. It's not gonna to be too much, just about a half dozen lines or so. The first thing that we're going to do inside of our ball.js file is import the animated module from React Native. So we'll import animated like so. Remember, animated has all the tools that we need for handling animations. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing all the typing. Again, we will come back and discuss exactly what's going on here. To start, we'll add in a component will mount lifecycle method. Inside of here, we're gonna define a starting position for our ball. So we'll say this.position equals new animated dot value x y and we'll pass in arguments of zero and zero do make sure that you've got a capital x and a capital y in value x y next we'll add in animated dot spring we're going to pass in a first argument of the position that we just created so we'll say this dot position and then a second argument of an object and this object is going to have a single key value pair. So we'll give it two value. It's going to have an object with an X of 200 and a Y of 500, like so. And the last thing that we're going to do inside the component will mount right here, we're going to look at the animated.spring line, and then on the outside of that function call, we'll add on a dot start, like so. Okay, one more line of code. I guess two more lines, and then we'll be able to test this out inside of our simulator. Down inside of our render method, we're going to wrap the view that we already created with one more view coming from the animated module. So we'll say animated.view, and that's gonna wrap the view that we just made. We're then gonna pass one single prop to this thing of style, and the style is going to come from this.position.getLayout. And we'll make sure that we add on the parentheses on there as well. Okay, so again, a lot of typing here, a lot of code. We're going to run this thing in the simulator, and then we're going to figure out what's going on with all the code that we just added. So first, I'm going to save this file, and we'll flip on over to our simulator. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that the ball appeared to kind of move from the top left-hand side to, I don't know, over here. We can refresh and watch that animation play over and over. 
So it definitely appears that something about what we're doing is causing the ball to move around on the screen. So clearly this animation stuff is doing something. So it's now really up to us to figure out exactly what's going on with it. Let's take a quick break and then we're gonna come back and break down every line of code that we just wrote line by line and figure out exactly why this animation is working the way it is. So a quick break and I'll see you in just a second.